Facebook Home is a new launcher for Android phones, but it's only available for a few devices. But don't worry, I'll show you how you can install this on almost any Android phone. Why? Because Tinkernut cares. Everyone loves Facebook, or to put it more accurately, everyone tolerates Facebook. Most people I know feel like they have to use Facebook because everyone else is using it. I mean, how else would you communicate with your family and friends? Call them? <laughs> what a ridiculous ritual. Doesn't it just make more sense to use that phone to post a Facebook message on their wall as opposed to just calling them? That's why Facebook has released the new Facebook Home app to the masses. And by masses, I mean only four devices. But that's not fair. You might even say it sucks. Why can't it be available on more devices? But don't worry, my friends. Seriously, don't worry. You don't look good when you're worried. You get those little wrinkles in your forehead and you start glistening of worry sweat and then your armpit. There's a workaround that lets you install Facebook Home on a much wider variety of devices. So if you're cavalier enough, and if you think you have the guts, then let's do this, you blessed little tinker nerds. So what devices can it work on? Sadly, iPhone users still won't be able to use it. It's Android only, and you have to have Android version 3.0 or above. You can find out what version you're running by going to System Settings, About Phone, and Android Version. Now, if your version is under 3.0, then Facebook Home doesn't support it, but that doesn't quite mean you're out of luck yet. If you're running Android Gingerbread or lower, then you may want to give CyanogenMod a try. For those of you that are longtime subscribers, you may remember a video I did on how to install CyanogenMod on the Barnes & Noble Nook. CyanogenMod is a community-based Android ROM that allows you to install versions of Android that your device provider may not otherwise allow. Now it requires your device to be rooted, but if it's something that you're interested in, you can go to this wiki and see if your device is listed. If it is listed, then just see if CyanogenMod 9 or 10 is available for it. Then just watch this video for how to install it. All right, let's get down to the nitty and to the gritty. I'm gonna be installing this on my Nook Color that has CyanogenMod 10 already installed on it. The first thing that you wanna do is back up your device as a safety precaution. Then go to your settings menu and security and tick the box that says unknown sources. This way we can install apps that aren't in the app store. Then go back to the settings menu and go to the apps section and then uninstall any Facebook or Facebook Messenger apps that you may have previously installed. If you did have to uninstall anything, go ahead and restart your device. The next step is the key to what makes this whole thing work. The bright mind Apollo Brian over at the Madaco forum has created a patched version of the Facebook Home APK that skips the device check and as far as I know doesn't require root. Because of this, he's also created a patched version of Facebook in the Facebook Messenger app so that it can work with this version of the Facebook Home APK. You can go to his forum post to find out more about it and to find some download links. Otherwise, I've also put download links in the description of this video so that you can download them directly from your mobile device. Once you have all three of the APKs downloaded, the first one you want to install is Katana, which is the Facebook app. Click install for the permissions and then wait until the installation is finished. Next, install the Orca APK, which is the Facebook Messenger app. When it's finished, you can now install the Facebook Home app. And then when that's done, it'll ask which launcher that you want to use. If you want to switch back and forth from the Android launcher and the Facebook launcher, you can choose just once. Otherwise, you can select Always to use Facebook Home full time. It may have you log into your Facebook account, and once you do, you'll see pics from your newsfeed scrolling in the background. You can tap and hold to view these images and like them and comment on them directly from the front page. You've also got your chat head at the bottom that you can drag to view Facebook apps or messages. And there you have it, Facebook Home on your unsupported Android device. A couple of things to note is that the Facebook Messenger app has had reports of not routing correctly, so you may want to hold off on using that at this point. Also, if you're an international user, Paul O'Brien's forum post also has instructions for what you can do to get the Facebook Home app installed on international phones. 
What do you guys think about Facebook and this Facebook home app? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing or check out my YouTube channel for more cool tech tutorials. And as always, until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.